Hello Value Investors, thank you for joining me. Today I want to talk about Cars.com and why I believe this stock is undervalued. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe now so you can get my next value installment. Also, don't forget to check out my marketplace on Seeking Alpha. It's called Deep Value Returns, where I talk about stocks I own and why. Cars.com is a stock I own and I offer balanced arguments for the stocks I own. So don't forget to do a free trial there. So let's get started. So Cars.com is an interesting investment opportunity. Back in 2019, even while the economy was strong, the company was underperforming. It was losing a lot of dealers because it's quite a competitive market. It's Cars.com specializes in is a marketplace or a website that essentially connects buyers and sellers of vehicles. So there are many, many companies that compete in this space. Some, for example, like Truca or Car Gurus. There, there are others that are more kind of indirect, for example, uh, Craigslist or Facebook. So it's a very, very difficult market. But what attracts me to this opportunity is that even though it's very competitive, it does have quite attractive margins. So you can see this is the results for Q1 2020. And you can see that it has an EBITDA margin of approximately 24%. So this is quite attractive. It's not, it's not a razor thin margin by any stretch of the imagination. So the high margin website is because essentially just connecting up buyers and sellers is, is something that's quite attractive. Also, you can see that even in last Q4 or so, starting Q1, that cars.com has managed to really stabilize the car dealers it would have been losing a lot of car dealers and it has actually stabilized and come back up slightly. So it's not a dead business. It could still kind of have a potential to stabilize. And given that its market cap is less than 400 million, and by my estimations, at the top end, it could come up to around 90 million of free cash flow. I think that this is possibly really undervalued. So as assuming that this contract that they have with GM that's supposed to start at some point soon and is really supposed to lead to Q4 2020 having some revenue growth rate. If that happens and the company Cars.com is able to start posting some positive year over year comparisons, this, this could really take off because this is a, quite a highly shorted stock. Although the short ratio has come down significantly, it's still hovering around 20%. So it's a, so it's a meaningfully shorted company. I can see the argument. It's because there's just so much competition. And if you're posting negative revenue growth rates for a while, and then you've got COVID, it's, it's, and the economy is falling, it doesn't have a lot of a bullish thesis. So I can see that argument there. But I think that this deal with GM could be something that is really being undervalued by the market. So I think that this could really turn around the share price. Now, what I will say is that it does have a significant amount of debt. At the moment, the debt leverage is around 4.1 times. So it is significant for a cyclical business. Uh, it would be much better if they were able to rather soon pay down that debt. I just don't know if they'll be able to realistically if the, if the economy goes a bit sour as it, as, it, as it is doing in 2020, it will be a while until they get around three times net debt. And you really want to see a cyclical business with 2.5 times net debt. So it has a high debt ratio. So I can see the argument there for the short thesis as well. But why I'm really attracted to it is that for a long time, the multiple has been compressing for cars.com. So it right now it trades at a really low multiple, less than one time sales. And as you can see in the past, it traded significantly higher. The history with cars.com 
is that it spun out from Tegna and there was a bid when the market cap was approximately uh, in the ballpark of I think 1.4 billion. There was a few bids indeed uh, back in 2019 but they fell through for one reason or another. So I don't necessarily argue any longer that this should go around to back to 1.5 billion but I think that there could be some upside here because at just less than 400 million when you've got other peers like car gurus that are trading at billion dollar market caps and you've got Carvana and that is trading close to 20 billion. So as long as they stabilize that revenue growth rate, there is a strong potential for this business to really turn around. So I do think that this investment opportunity is underpriced. And this is the type of stock that I talk about in my marketplace. So if you're interested in checking that out, come and do a free trial on my marketplace. It's called Deep Value Returns. And I'll tell you which stocks I own and why. And you can check that out on Seeking Alpha Marketplace.